Should you just fake it till you make it? Do you have to love yourself before someone else can love you? And do diets work, but you just haven't found the right one for you yet? Today, we're gonna dive deeper into all three of these super common beliefs about health and confidence and decide if they're fact or fiction or somewhere in between. I'm Sarah, I'm a certified health coach specializing in body image and self-confidence, and I've spent countless hours talking through each of these beliefs with my clients on the phone or in our messages so that we can decide what beliefs and strategies are gonna get them to their goals the fastest and most effectively and make changes in their confidence that last long-term. Fake it till you make it. This belief or this mantra that we often say when we're not feeling confident or we're not sure of ourselves, but we're just going to get ourselves to do it anyway. It sounds great, right? Fake it till you make it can be a little bit confusing though, because sometimes we say it when we're about to do something reckless or totally out of our comfort zone, but it can also be applied to just deeper growth and changes that we're trying to make within ourselves and trusting ourselves to get there. Overall, faking the confidence until you make it that far or make the confidence real is a really nice idea in theory. But if your strategy for confidence and growth is only fake it till you make it, I have bad news for you. Fake it till you make it can work, but only if you're doing it right. And the right way to use fake it till you make it to your advantage is to be pairing it with deeper work. If you're not doing both sides of this, then you're not gonna be successful. Yes, you might be able to fake this confidence for a moment, but you're actually not making deeper changes to how you think about yourself or how you see the world. A really great example of this is a podcast that I was recently on where I was interviewed and asked about how I first started healing my relationship with food and eating disorder recovery and also with my body image. The question I was asked was how I started doing that because back then eating foods that I thought were bad was was so scary. I was afraid to gain weight. I was afraid to skip a workout. I was afraid to go over my daily calorie limits. I didn't trust myself around food and it affected so many areas of my life because I couldn't go out to eat with my friends. I couldn't eat food that my dad had cooked with me. I couldn't get dressed to go out. I was always worried that my boyfriend didn't think that I looked good. There's so many body image issues tied to this too. And the answer I gave for how I started eating foods that I originally thought were bad and expanding my perspective and healing my relationship with food in my body was that I did use fake it till you make it a little bit. When you're challenging food rules or challenging your confidence to grow, you can use fake it till you make it to push you out of your comfort zone a little bit. Maybe you don't believe that you should allow yourself to honor that craving, but you're going to fake it till you make it in this moment to get you to do it. And the more that you do it, the more you prove to yourself, hey, I can do that and I can survive. Everything will be okay. This is super important in this part of the journey. Fake it till you make it can also be used to make your life a little bit simpler. When you have all of these overwhelming thoughts about the gym and food and your body, it makes your daily life so much harder because you're constantly expending energy thinking about all of these things. When you use fake it till you make it, you can simplify your decision making and say, okay, I might not fully believe this right now, but I'm just gonna fake it till I make it and get through this moment and it makes your day a little bit simpler. The reason that fake it till you make it is so good then is because you get out of your comfort zone and you simplify your daily life and that gives you a little bit more brain space to do that deeper work that we have to pair with fake it till you make it. Again, if you're just doing fake it till you make it alone, yes, you're getting through your daily life a little bit easier, but you're not making change long term. So it's gonna stay just as difficult over time. So you can implement fake it till you make it to get through your daily life a little bit easier and have the headspace to do things like coaching with someone like me so that you can get to these deeper limiting beliefs about health and your body. You can journal, you can go to therapy, you can watch YouTube videos, you can listen to podcasts, you can scroll social media, Media for inspirational content. You can have more brain space to do all of these things that are going to help your growth long term. But on its own, fake it till you make it feels overwhelming. It can feel just unnecessarily scary at times and it doesn't make change on its own long term. If fake it till you make it has been your only strategy up until now, that's okay because you're already starting to make some small changes and start to get comfortable with doing this work. But you need a more intentional strategy. A lot of people need outside help. That's why a coach like me who specializes in body image and food mindset and joyful movement exists. Having somebody like me in your life, having me as your coach can be so life-changing in this process. So if you need an intentional strategy that you can count on to move you towards your goals quicker than you would if you were doing this on your own, I'm your girl. There's always more information about my coaching in the end of the video and in the description of the video. But if this is something that you feel like you really need help with, 
coaching might be the perfect thing for you. You have to love yourself before someone else can love you. Do you though? When you like your body and you like who you are, you have better sex, you make more money, you make more healthy decisions, you have more fun in life. That is undeniable. Body image and self-confidence is the gateway to seeing your worth in all areas of life. It gives you the abilities to have a stable relationship with food, to speak up for yourself in the workplace, ask for a raise or not stand for unfair treatment, to demand the best from your relationships, whether they're family, friends, or romantic partners, and get what you deserve in those relationships, to give off this aura of confidence that attracts your dream people in your life and opens you up to opportunities that allow you to live your dream life. And stop getting stuck in the cycle of dating shitty guys, saying yes when you want to say no, and putting up for less than what you deserve. Because of my own body image healing and self-confidence journey, I have moved to Bali from the United States. I have dated amazing people that are really what I'm looking for in my life. I have the best friends. I have a career I love. I make money. I eat well. I take care of my body. All of those things I would not be able to do and do with so much confidence if it wasn't for this journey. But do do you have to love yourself unconditionally before you experience these things? No. Instead of imagining this as cause and effect where body confidence and self-love equal the life of your dreams, you can see this as a cycle and a positive cycle for once. The more confidence, the more dream life. The more doses of your dream life dangled in front of you by doing this work, the more energy you have to keep doing it. And it just goes on and on and builds and builds. You can have healthy relationships, the life of your dreams, and strengthen your career before you love yourself unconditionally. Showing yourself compassion and accepting that you don't have to be perfect and loving yourself 100% of the time actually makes accepting yourself easier because you recognize that you're just a human who doesn't always have perfect days. You're gonna have bad body image days or low self-confidence days for many reasons beyond that you just don't deserve to feel confident. Maybe it's hormones, maybe you're overtired, maybe you've had a stressful week at work, maybe you're really dealing with something in life right now. It's perfectly okay to not always feel perfect about yourself. And you deserve to be loved by the people around you even if you don't perfectly love yourself 100% of the time. Diets work, you just haven't found the right one. This belief is so frustrating because I hear it from clients all of the time that you feel like you just aren't meant to be a healthy person. You've tried everything. You've tried keto. You've tried vegan. You've tried intermittent fasting. You've tried going to the gym six days a week or waking up at 5 a.m. to get to the gym. No matter what it is, you can't seem to find a routine that sticks. And so you're convinced that you're the problem. And it actually over time makes you dread moving your body or having to make dinner at home or trying to do this inner work because it's difficult and you associate trying with failure. But with this belief of diets work, you just haven't found the right one, it makes you the source of blame in this situation when in reality, diets are the problem. Diets do not work. And I'll tell you what does instead in a moment. But first things first, anyone that tells you that diets do work has a little bit of a skewed perception of what working actually means. Diets aren't working if they're only giving you results when you're following them perfectly. If as soon as you stop the diet, you gain back the weight or you lose the energy or you lose the healthy habits you were trying to build, that's not working. That's conditional. If you constantly feel like you can't slack off at all or everything will fall apart, that's not working either. If keto works like your coworker says it does, why is she restarting it for the third time? If intermittent fasting worked, why are you constantly thinking about food when you're not in that fasting period? If veganism worked as a means to just be healthier, then why do you never stop craving cheese? Yes, some principles of diets may work for you and that's perfectly okay. A lot of people naturally intermittent fast or they choose not to consume dairy or they choose to exclude certain food groups or do certain types of exercise because that's what makes their body feel best. But the major issue with most diets, the type of diet that you think of when I say the word diet is that they are so all or nothing. So what actually works and this is what I've observed with countless clients who come to me because they have tried everything, they're very thorough, they care a lot about their wellness, is an individualized approach. 
with my clients, they're coming to me because they've already tried everything and they can't get one specific diet or plan or lifestyle to stick. They feel defeated. You feel like you've tried everything. It's exhausting. We sit down together. We figure out what doesn't work for you because that's super important for you to understand so you don't keep going back to those habits or those lifestyles. We figure out what the common themes are there and then we decide together what actually will work. We use trial and error to figure that out. And we also use accountability in our work together over time so that you are developing habits that last long term. They really become set in stone. And because they're customized to your work schedule, to your budget when it comes to healthy eating, to your lifestyle, to what you actually like to do, it's exciting and so much easier to maintain these things. Diets don't work because they're not designed for you. They're designed for you to fit into them when you need an approach that fits into your life. If you feel like you've tried everything and you just can't figure out something that sticks, it's evidence that the diet is the problem, not you. And even if you know diets are bullshit, it's really hard to disconnect from this on your own sometimes and really with confidence develop a plan or an approach that does work. That's why people end up working with me. If that describes the headspace that you're in, then you are the perfect person to work with me either one-on-one -on -one or in my group program. Like I said in the beginning of this video, I am a certified health coach specializing in body image and self-confidence. And this is the last week of 2023 to enroll in my group program, The Dream Girl Circle. If this video has resonated with you, The Dream Girl Circle is going to be the perfect opportunity for you to have that community, that support, that accountability, while also taking a really intentional approach to your fitness, to your nutrition, to your body image, to your self-love and self-care, and your outside relationships. The Dream Girl Circle is an eight week program where you and a small group of women are together, having similar goals, motivating each other, and taking education and guidance from me so that you can make tangible progress towards your goals. It's unlike an approach that you've ever taken before, which is why it works. It's not a diet. It's not a lifestyle change. It's genuinely releasing your limiting beliefs about your health and your body and what you're capable of and replacing those with self-love and intention so that you can make changes long-term in your confidence and your wellness. The Dream Girl Circle is a product of three years of me coaching women in these exact areas and then bringing in the group component because it's so validating and healing to have other women alongside with you in this process. The Dream Girl Circle is perfect for you if you feel like you've already tried everything in terms of diets, but also in your healing and your growth. This is a sign that you need that outside support from me. When you're working with me in this group program, we sit down together and we write out and plan out everything that you need to get you from exactly where you are right now, both in your habits and your mindset, to where you want to be in just eight weeks. Having an action plan to actually make the changes that you want to make is the thing that changes everything. And then having somebody like me and this group there to make sure that you actually execute it is such a game changer. When you're in the Dream Girl Circle with me, you also have messaging access to me privately. So any time of day when you have a question, a win you want to celebrate, or you're having a hard moment, you can message me privately or you can message our group chat where everybody will support you. Having that on the go support and education is so helpful too. I'm with you through each step of the process, getting you back into your healthy habits, changing these mindsets and limiting beliefs for good and making changes in both your body image and your wellness that are going to last your lifetime. Even on the days that you aren't motivated, I'm there. This last cohort of 2023 starts November 22nd, which is next week. So if you want to be in this cohort, you need Garment to go to the link in the description of this video so or on my Instagram and other social so media channels so that you can book a free discovery call with me and tell me why you want to be in this program. I'm limiting it to 10 seats so you'll know that you always have plenty of space to share in the group and on our group calls. And you'll get my custom program workbook, messaging access to me privately and our group message. That discovery call is 30 minutes and completely free. I'll give you all of the information on the program. You can ask me any questions you have and we'll figure out what the best payment option for you is as well. Like I said, this is the last cohort of the year and I will not be running one for another few months at least. So if this is something you're interested in, you need to book that free discovery call with me now. And as always, subscribe to this channel so you can get a new free mini training from me every single week and strengthen your body image, your self-love and your wellness all at the same time.